Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the Legacy Run and we are continuing with uh, the second installment of it. We've just survived the first chrysalis that we found and now it's time to rescue as many civilians as we can plus fight back the aliens. I am expecting that we're going to find some faceless ones uh, that, uh, that disguise themselves as normal civilians. But I'm also expecting that we're going to face chrysalids because that seems to be the theme of the whole uh, campaign here. Four enemies right there. Which tells me we need to get into a good solid cover position. Probably up here. Very good. High ground. I love it. And we're even flanking this guy. So I'm only missing the explosive here. Just to explode the car and kill him. But that's fine. Good enough for now. Let's take a look at the Templar. Ah, we can't even reach them. Moving into full cover. I think we're going to begin with the Sun Lancer, to be, uh, to be honest. Not only is the Stun Lancer the obvious target, but it's probably also the most dangerous one. Well, we really can't move anywhere with the Templar. Let's get central into the action. I'd like to have full cover, but we have already pulled the pack, so to speak. So, let's take half cover, although it's not brilliant. But we're at least flanking. Probably should have taken the shot first before uh, wasting one uh, one shot onto it. Anyways, solid chance to hit this guy if we do deal maximum damage and crit, which is a forty percent chance, twenty percent actually with maximum damage. We could even kill it right away. Oh, we got... Oh, we got um, ignition rounds. That's even better. So this guy's burning. Uh, burning suppresses his ability to mark targets. That's already pretty good. Uh, burning also deals 1 to 3 damage. So there's a certain chance that he's going to uh, die. Last but not least, since we already have people in half cover, might as well take another half cover here. And that's really just a chance to kill him. I wasn't expecting to hit that. I would leave him untouched because we could kill him. Um, but we're going instead going to go for uh, this guy here. Very nice. That's a one shot. It's dying. Getting the full bonus to kill it fast. Unfortunately, minimum damage for the burning. And the civilian down. That's really a bummer. Come on, miss. Very nice. Time to get caught. The show never stops, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, it's not easy being the talent, the management, and the technician around. Here. So Somebody we're not going to go backwards. Let's push the, the advantage. What for? It's moving in. Hours. Does anybody know what 
Nice little Talon rounds, immediately evaporating this guy. We know that the uh, commander uh, or the, the uh, advent captain is still burning, so we actually don't need to waste a shot for it. Instead, we're overwatching. And overwatch. This guy dies from this uh, from the burning effect. Yeah. I was figuring that that might happen because they have left the civilian untouched. And I was very, very suspicious about it. Did mention it before, but... There was a high likelihood that this guy uh, could have been a faceless one. Also, wasn't running away, which is a good, uh, which is always a very suspicious sign. If they run away, they are usually not faceless ones. Surprisingly enough, it wasn't the chrysalids this time. At least, not right off the bat. Advent was in town. They seem to be having some trouble with the bugs too. We also had a few civilians to contend with. Moving the further. Was a mess. Getting this thing down and let's uh, ramp up our focus. It's an easy focus uh, gathering here. Could use the high ground. So many civilians over here, by the way. I guess we're moving over here because I want to have that high ground to then take proper aim against the targets on the on other it. side. I'm still not trusting all of these. There's a second uh, faceless one. I'm pretty aware that this guy needs that the second one needs to be out there, somewhere. As you command. We're moving up, although that's not a direct cover towards the bridge section. I think we're going to be fine. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's double move. I'm not taking the car because it burns and it might explode. Um, but we can grapple hook up here. By the way, buddy, why Whatever. wouldn't you be saved after you are literally standing here? Let's get these civilians. Understood. Again, this here should be a rescue. Let's go. Move out. might trigger the pack. And by the way, I'm surprised why is the civilian running away? Oh no, we rescued it, it just did not register for whatever reason. Okay.
All right, moving on. Although that is half cover, which I probably should have moved to here, but that's okay for now. Uh, we're taking full cover. And full Get cover. It is under my watch. Maintaining this area. Scanning. Yeah, we need to trigger the pack fast. By now you might be asking yourself, Central, if you didn't want to listen to the DJ, why not just shut off your radio? And you'd be right to ask. You see, the problem was, the stronger his signal got, the more it interfered with our comm link. We could either go completely radio silent, or put up with him for a bit longer. I'm out of here. So I'm actually doing that because you need to save the civilians during the runtime and not afterwards. By the way, she still has full cover, right? Right? There's still a wall here, right? Do not. Affirmative. Moving out. For the cause. I'll keep it under watch. We're green to go. Rock and roll. Come on. All right, we're going to move next turn. I like I said, this it's is... we need to trigger it as soon as possible. But I wanted to make sure that we that we first rescued the civilians. There are two more civilians over here, and now it's really time to move forward. Ah! Knowing there is yet another pack. So, uh, got kind of a serious question for you. Does anyone else notice a sudden uptick? Big mean alien bugs running around. Nasty white ones with razor sharp talons. No? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this would <laughs> be crazy, right? Moving in no, with Central. Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled just in case, though. Okay. So, as I was saying, Suffer my rage. we could still stand here and, and just parry, which I think we're going to do if there's only one of them left. This here would 100% uh, kill the purifier. Armor piercing would be nice against uh, the uh, against the mech. Two screen rounds would be another alternative. Well, I think we're going to go for the sectored though. Most likely not going to kill it. We could, we could use this as a frag grenade to kill the purifier. Unfortunately, the normal grenades have a tendency to not destroy the car automatically. That's a bummer. The car would have been destroyed if this guy explodes, then with the explosion of the purifier, this um, cover would have been gone as well. So I'm not afraid about the... Um, about the... 
sector. I'm pretty afraid about the um, the mech. Let's take the high ground here. Oh shit, I used the sniper. That was very bad. So that was the first mistake that I did during this run so far. Wanted to use... I actually wanted to use um, the skirmisher. But I failed to execute. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Anyways, let's... See if we can do the best out of the situation. So this guy is down to four. Killing him completely. We're clustered up. That's not a good idea. We need to move the sniper, otherwise we're going to uh, receive the grenade from from the mech. So moving the sniper there was a complete waste of its turn. I don't want to receive a grenade. So we're looking at an exploding car. Probably a shot, which we can parry and a mind control, which we need to block next turn. Nope, we're looking at a zombie instead, but that's okay. Very moderate hit points, by the way, four hit points, it's almost a joke. There's the parry I was looking for. He's of course use, uh, targeting her because she's standing in the open, and that's not going to hit. Explosion of the car unfortunately will not kill him either. So the civilian right next to them... Okay, so, as I was saying, this civilian here is highly suspicious. Number one, it doesn't run away. Number two, it's not getting attacked. That's usually the sign of a traitor. Okay, let's see if we can kill the mech. Um, gonna give an aid protocol up there because that's only half cover. This here should be a kill. There we go, thanks to those three rounds. One more down. Moving back without using an action for it. I love the grappling hook, by the way. That would be the easy way to kill the sector. Unfortunately, we know there is another pack right there. It would immediately trigger. If 
42% chance with the sniper. So far so good, we're reloading, we're actually in full cover, let's kill the purifier. Might as well take our chances against the sectored. Oh, there we go, it's halfway down, we're carrying in case it decides to shoot. Yeah, it abandons us and instead moves to the next pack. We're certainly not getting the bonus to rescue all of the civilians and I'm pretty sure we need to hurry up because there's only one more civilian left over. That's not a civilian. That's the second faceless one, I can already tell. Question is where is the last civilian? They went up here, killed them, went up here, everyone here was dead. So the last civilian might be over here or kind of a loner around here. Pretty sure 99% that that's not a civilian. We need one round for a setup. Can't just pull. By the way, I definitely should have moved the sniper up here. I'm stupid. the triggering Curse their armor. Damn, I'm rusty. And I can give you my word for this DJ guy. May have been off as rocker, but I have to give him a credit. I mean the guy was out there building his own radio network. Half the time, we could barely find recruits who knew how to turn on a radio. Mutants do have a grenade, which we need to consider. Need to be careful with that. But the chrysalids are likewise the dangerous. Another one down. This is actually a bit of a closer mission. Moving into full cover to flank this guy. Although it's just a 60% shot if we hit. Yep. If we hit, he's almost down. Down to 1 HP, very nice. means we could finish him with a vault.
Yeah, and it even jumps to nearby units. That's good. Two birds killed with just one stone. I like it. Pretty well done. So if we were in high ground, this here would absolutely not be any uh, issue whatsoever. But someone needed to move their sniper to the front line, because that's typically where all of the snipers operate, right? Oh, what a surprise. Gosh, we would have never guessed that. Could that be a faceless one? Really? I was so sure that it was a civilian. That did so natural. Just like any civilian would. Reloading and let's take a shot. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we could have had 1000 more if we would find the la uh, last um, the last civilian. But I haven't really the found that one. Too much of an issue for us. But we were only slightly closer to figuring out just what the hell was going on. So we had 50,000 as an option overall. Bit more even and yeah I think we left a couple of civilians on the way about 10,000 short of maximum although the mission itself was okay I could have played that better we pulled some gear from the workshop we found set up by the radio tower there was some decent stuff in there so the choice of what to haul out wasn't easy I am tempted to go for a bit of a uh, different set of grenades this time, in the absence of a grenadier. Um, EMP grenades are not so helpful, well, I wouldn't say that. They can be helpful against uh, sector pods later, and also against codices, so I guess it has, they aren't bad. Acid grenade for shredding. Yeah. Let's take that. Because I know that we will receive another option for personal combatants with the advanced ones. And I want to know if we need to get the basic ones to then have the advanced ones and the superior ones. Or if they just offer you the, uh, the, the advanced ones irregardless. So we got ourselves overcharged and stun strike, that's okay. Lightning hands is really good. And zero in is also not bad. I think we're making good progress here. We're still a bit further ahead of um, of the mission if this here is a one-to-one -one scale. Like we're okay point, uh, from uh, from a point perspective, but in the end it boils down to how many points you can get in the mission. We made our way further up the coast by boat while chasing the DJ's signal. Nice. From what we pieced together, he had been building his own radio network across the territories that were still free from advent control. Rigging stolen relays and antennas up and down the seaboard to get his message across, he had managed to stir something else up. Whether it was the frequency, or something in the equipment itself, the chrysalids loved the sound of his voice. Step to them, away. it was like the DJ had been ringing the dinner bell in every town he visited. 
So good. So we're looking at 20,000 plus 22,500. Uh, Maximum 42,500. I think we, if we reached 35, uh, so kind of get to 95,000, we are on a good way. Um, but that's going to happen during the next mission, guys. I enjoyed it a lot and see you very soon.